now that we have uh, knowledge about the general mole balances let us um, see how we can apply this equation to a batch reactor and to do that let us um, first revise our general mole balance which is fa naught minus fa which is in so fa naught is entering and this is a system ga plus the generation plus the output which is fa which is our product and the system one system is ga now generation here would be the generation here would be the amount that is uh, reacting which is ra which could be consumed or produced in this case for generation it would be the production ra would be the production and dv would be the um, change in volume and accumulation is um, the number of moles changing per time per, ch per unit change in time so to apply this on, on a batch reactor here we have a batch reactor we would enter the field in the batch reactor we know in a batch reactor that we enter the and uh, we enter the contents we enter the reactants first and then we close the reactor and the reaction occurs and then after a certain time uh, we have the product so here we see that we add some we add something in which is which is fa naught let's say we add it from here we add fa naught and from here would be we would have fa and since we have a batch reactor we would say that uh, the amount of a product that is entering the amount of reactant that is entering is equal to the amount of product is equal to zero in the time being when the reaction is occurring there is no there is no end uh, feed that is entering and there is no product that is forming so at that point we would just have the amount that is generating and the amount that is accumulated inside of the reactor in a well mixed reactor where we would see that there is um we would see that there is the uh, composition inside of the reactor would be the same and there would be um this uh, integer would be integral would be cancelled out from dv because of uh, the mixing of the reactor and we would get r a v then the accumulation we would see that the uh, equation for a batch reactor becomes dna over t is equal to r a o r a into v we can modify this equation that we formed in the last slide this equation and we can use this equation to find out the time that is uh, required for um, a specific reaction in a batch reactor so for time from time where time is zero um, the accumulation would be the number of moles that are entered and the at number of moles at time t which is the final number of moles so when we apply this we want to calculate the time which is necessary for the processing in a batch reactor and we would use this equation and we would integrate and we would integrate it between na naught to na which is the final the number of moles here it says Time necessary to reduce the number of moles of A from Na naught to Na, which is the basically the processing time for processing time in a batch reactor. 
here we would see if we plot this equation on a graph where we have um, the number of moles on y-axis and the time on t, uh, time on y-x-axis and we would see that we have um, at the start when the time is zero we have um, na which here it would be na naught because we have just started our reactor and here it would be na naught and at this position it would be na and we can see that at this position we have the lowest number of moles because the reaction has occurred and uh, the number of moles that were added at na naught are now being consumed and there are not a lot of uh, moles left in the reactor and that's how we know that our batch process has come to a conclusion because there are no moles left to react anymore.